All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can turn your Python project into a Windows executable file. And it's very fast and simple. All you need is a project to start off with, and then you need to open up terminal. And inside here, the first thing we have to type is pip install pi installer and wait for that to install. Once it has successfully installed pi installer, we can go ahead and type in the next command, which is pi installer. And we need to choose the main file of our project, which for me is the main.py. So we're just gonna type in main.py. And this is the file that contains all of the logic of the code. And then we just want to make sure this remains one file. If you do not add this annotation, you will have a folder filled with all of the packages and all the relevant information of the project. So let's just turn it into one executable by adding the one file. And all we have to do now is click on enter and it's going to analyze the project and turn it into an executable. Then later you'll see two new folders appear. One is a build and one is a dist. And inside dist, you will have the executable file inside. And we can just drag that to our desktop and you'll see that we'll have the program in executable format. So now when we click on it, it will say, give your QR code a title. I'm just gonna say title and I'll say subscribe to code palace with an exclamation mark and click on enter. And then it will create a folder with my QR codes, as you can see over here. One's gonna be an SVG and one's going to be a normal PNG. So that's a very quick way you can create an executable file in case you have some quick program that you want to run. But I definitely do not recommend this for production level programs because a lot of computers will see this as a virus and Python in general is not made for executables. But it's always nice to have in case you want to run a program very quickly directly from your desktop. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching as always. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.